fast, agile, but above all, reactive. Iker Casillas was a spectacular goalkeeper. Standing 1.82 meters tall, he was capable of exceptional flights of fancy and of keeping any ball off his line. The Spanish goalkeeper was also formidable in penalty shootouts and was absolutely unflappable. A true boss on the pitch, his natural leadership made him an iconic captain. Indeed, it was with the armband around his arm that he won his greatest trophies. Let's take a look at the man who could create miracles. I'm talking about San Iker. Iker Casillas was born on May 20th, 1981 in Mostolas, an important town in the Madrid community. From a modest family, he grew up peacefully with his parents and younger brother Unai. Originally from the Basque country, Iker regularly went to athletic Bilbao matches. It was while watching the players that he developed a deep desire to become a footballer, and more specifically to become a goalkeeper. His father, convinced of his talent, decided to take him to Real Madrid for tests. The youngster passed the tests with flying colors and joined the Madrid youth team. The Spanish goalkeeper, who was diligent and listened to his coaches, showed his full potential over the years. So much so that at the age of 16, Jupp Heynckes called him up to the first team to face Rosenberg in the Champions League. Although he unfortunately remained on the bench that day, the kid from Mostoles, after some good performances in the C team, was called up again. Better still, he was given a start. For his first professional match, the Merengues hopeful faced Athletic Bilbao. It was an emotional encounter for him and those around him. But the main thing is elsewhere. Casillas made a convincing debut. Six days later, he was in the starting lineup against Olympiacos in the Champions League. The 18-year-old became the youngest goalkeeper to play in a Champions League match, and he has played a key role in his team's impressive run in Europe. After eliminating Manchester United and Bayern Munich, Real Madrid found themselves in the final against Valencia. 3 to nothing. the Madrid victory was unquestionable. Casillas' career had barely begun when he won the most beautiful of competitions. The Spaniard is now a regular starter and continues to impress. Winner of the Spanish Super Cup and La Liga, the keeper seems to be continuing his meteoric rise. And I say seems because the following season did not go quite as planned. Deemed too irregular, the youngster was sidelined in favor of the experienced Cesar Sanchez. The child of the Basque country did not let himself be intimidated. At the end of the season, he even seized the opportunity to restore his reputation. On May 15, 2002, Real Madrid faced Bayer Leverkusen in the Champions League final. While Casablanca was leading two goals to one, Cesar Sanchez was injured 25 minutes before the final whistle. Casillas comes on stage and offers an unforgettable performance. Thanks to his four decisive saves, he keeps his team's lead and allows the club to win yet another cup. Now nicknamed San Iker. This exceptional performance has made him an undisputed starter. A strategy that paid off, as the goalkeeper will be the man of future success for Real. Winner of the league in 2003, 2007, 2008, and 2012. Iker Casillas became the most capped goalkeeper in the history of the club. Named best goalkeeper in the world five years in a row, the Angel of Mostoles, who became captain of Madrid after the departure of Raul in 2010, is at the top of his game. Nevertheless, at 32, El Capi is starting to show the first signs of weakness. After a poor start to the 2012 season, his leadership was called into question. Jose Mourinho chose to place him on the bench in favor of Antonio Adan. It was a decision that Casillas struggled to understand. With only 24 starts, communication between the Portuguese coach and the Spanish goalkeeper has officially broken down. Although the arrival of Carlo Ancelotti a year later gave him some relief, he was soon disheartened to learn that he would only be used in cup matches. Iker Casillas proved that he still had energy to spare by winning the Copa del Rey and, more importantly, a third Champions League. But despite his efforts, the club's directors continue to push him towards the exit. In 2014, after 725 games and 25 years at the Casablanca, Iker Casillas announced his departure. Transferred to FC Porto for 6 million euros, the 34-year-old goalkeeper wants to write a new chapter in his history, a gamble that will pay off. Twice champion of the Liga Nos, San Iker offers the Dragons remarkable seasons. In 2019, he reached the quarterfinals of the Champions League. His team unfortunately lost to Liverpool, the eventual winners of the edition. 
With 152 games, he became the player who had played the most matches in the Champions League. Determined to surpass other records, Iker Casillas was unfortunately caught by his fate. He suffered a heart attack in training and underwent emergency surgery in the hospital. Following this tragic event, he decided to end his football career. The Most or Less Hero will officially retire on August 4th, 2020. While San Iker has left his mark on the two clubs he has played for, he is also a legend within La Roja. Called up to the national youth team at the age of 15, he took part in international competitions from an early age. In 1999, he won the Under-20 World Cup. Encouraged by his performances at club level, Iker was called up to the senior team the following year. At only 19 years old, the promising goalkeeper was called up for a friendly match against Sweden. Called up to play at Euro 2000, the Madrid goalkeeper remained on the bench throughout the competition. Two years later, Casillas was called up again, but this time for the World Cup. He was announced as the official understudy to Canizares, but was finally given a starting place after the latter's injury. He was the first player to be called up to the starting lineup after Canizares suffered an injury, and he helped La Roja reach the quarterfinals by saving two penalties from the Irish in the penalty shootout. In the next match, the Angel of Mostoles made an impressive save. Named one of the finest saves in World Cup history, Casillas earned the love and respect of his fans that night. Despite his sumptuous performance, Spain lost to South Korea. For Casillas, the most important thing was elsewhere. He is now the number one goalkeeper for La Roja. Unfortunately for him, his new status comes at the wrong time. Spain is struggling to find a game plan. They were eliminated in the group stage at Euro 2004 and then went out in the last 16 of the 2006 World Cup. Yet La Roja has some very talented youngsters like David Villa and Fernando Torres who are simply waiting to be coached. Luis Aragones then proceeded to reshuffle the pack and felt like Iker Casillas was the right man for the job. By giving him the captain's armband, La Feria Roja gradually found a new balance. In the quarterfinals of Euro 2008 against Gianluigi Buffon's Italy, Iker Casillas confirmed that he is indeed the best goalkeeper in the world. He saved both Di Natale's and De Rossi's penalties in the shootout to send La Roja through to the next round. He was crowned European champion and his goal remained untouched throughout the final phase of the competition. He will repeat this feat at the 2010 World Cup. With his penalty saved against Paraguay and his face-off won against the Dutch, Sani Kerr and his men brought the cup home. A key figure in the new face of La Selección, he even became the first player to lift three international trophies in a row following Spain's renewed success at Euro 2012. No pasa nada. Vamos a hablar un poquito del partido y luego volvemos a hablar, ¿no? He became La Roja's most capped player at the time and continued to be a regular starter despite his lack of play for his club. But all good things must come to an end, and Casillas' story with Spain ended in 2016. After a poor performance at the Brazilian World Cup, Sandy Kerr was unable to compete with the new keeper of the moment, David de Gea. The younger father has not been called up since then and is leaving La Roja with his arms full of trophies. Casillas has nothing left to prove, either at club or international level. With an exceptional record of achievement, the Spanish goalkeeper has been able to accomplish everything he dreamed of. Admired by his fellow players, he is undoubtedly one of the best goalkeepers of his generation, if not in the modern history of world football. By the way, who do you think is or was the best goalkeeper in the world? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, don't hesitate to talk about our channel around you, to like it, to share it. See you soon for a new video. Bye for now.